Growing up as an only child with a single mother is lonely. I had to entertain myself constantly since she was always working. I was bored out of my mind watching the time pass in slow motion. When I was a kid, there were always elementary school dances. The mother-son dances and the father-daughter dances. Because I couldn't attend either dance, we asked the school if they could have a mother-daughter dance and a father-son dance. They said they couldn't. Actually, they just wouldn't. I wanted that experience of going to a school dance. I wanted to wear those overly sparkly, itchy dresses. But I got that experience stolen from me by the stereotypical gender norms of society. As I grew older, I earned more responsibilities, no matter how much I didn't want them. One responsibility I hated was cooking. I burned myself so many times, forming blisters on my hands and fingers. The hot stove made me overheat and nauseous. I felt too young to cook my own food, even though I was 13. I felt like it wasn't my job to prepare my own food. Other kids had adults to cook for them, so why not me? I felt like it was unfair for a kid to learn how to cook their own food. When she came home from work, it was always late. We either had dinner on the table by eight or didn't really have dinner. Since there was no one else home to cook for me, I usually ate my weight in crackers, ice cream, and yogurt. I turned 18 in four months. It's scary growing up. I always told myself that I would never grow up, that I didn't want to. Sad to say, I didn't really have a choice in the matter. You realize that you want to do things on your own, but then see that you need adult guidance. My mother was always there for me, just a little too much. Always asking questions or hovering over me like an umbrella on a rainy day. I appreciated her help, but it was always too much help. I want to fly from the nest and spread my wings, but I keep falling and cracking like a hatching egg. I sometimes need help to get back up and find my footing again. I do know now that I can fly alone, but can always go back to the nest. Our relationship has many challenges in it, but I always look forward to when I need to go and fly back to the nest.